Hello, how's it going? Uh, this is Freaky Styley 4000, and guess what? Back after a year and a half of uh, not having uploaded anything, uh, you know, worth the while onto uh, YouTube. Um, so yeah, I thought I owed this to my subscribers, and um, yeah, I've got a couple of ads up on ravemagazine.com.au at the moment, sort of whoring myself out there. Uh, into cyberspace trying to get into uh, a band of some sort, be it a uh, tribute, covers or an originals act. Um, yep, jump online, look me up uh, if you live in the Gold Coast or Brisbane areas. Anyway, for this um, particular video I thought I'd just um, show you my collection of bases, just you know what I've collected over the years. Uh, there's just one missing, it's over at my sister's place at the moment, and that's my electric double base, which I'll do a video on in the future I'm sure. So anyhow, let's go have a look at what we've got, eh? One moment. So we'll put that there, there we go. So we'll probably start with the uh, uh, little less interesting ones, I suppose. Try and make this quick because I've only got five minutes to make the film. So this one, uh, a couple of you have seen before. This would be my six string sound gear uh, made by Ibanez. It's um, yep, quite a nice six stringer, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, probably need to upgrade on the uh, pickups there sometime in the future, probably looking at EMGs. I uh, just noticed when I play the high C, there's just not enough punch compared to the other strings. Uh, it's got a through neck, so it's a lovely instrument, this particular one. Um, yeah, moving on. I don't have much time to go into too much detail, I'm afraid. So, back. Moving on, this one would be my fretless bass. This is also made by Ibanez, it's an ATK. Originally came from the factory as a fretless bass, has fret markers as you can see, so fretless uh, enthusiasts would think me a bit of a wimp. Bloody heavy bass too, I have to wear it quite high up on my body otherwise I get a bad back. It's a big solid bastard this one. Uh, I'm looking to get a, I uh, don't know if you can see that, I'm looking to get a hip shot D tuner on it in the near future. Moving on. This one's an interesting one, it only cost me 300 bucks with a hard case. And this is be the one that uh, a lot of you folks out there like in my uh, video for toys 1988. This is uh, the Ibanez Destroyer. The guy who owned it before me actually died and gave it to his um, nephew who immediately hocked it the next day. As you can see down here we've got a Kayla Tremolo uh, system, which I had in a box for about uh, I think two years before I found a base to put it on. What I needed was a base with a shape similar to this, like an Explorer, because uh, on a standard base it would have uh, hung over the edge uh, and not been quite right for a traditional shaped base. Anyhow, that's how that works. Boing! Whoops! <laughs> that wasn't very uh, good, was it? Moving on, I'm just going to put the camera back down. This is uh, my main base that I bought when I was 18, so 10 years ago, or 11 years ago now I should say. This is the one that's come around the world with me a couple of times, both to Japan and the United States recently. It's my Ernie Ball Music Man. Hurry up and focus, there we go. So this is a beautiful, beautiful instrument, this particular one. Yeah. When I was in Japan, I put a hipshot D tuner on it, as you can see here. Makes life nice and easy. Gives you a bit of an option to do a bit of uh, tremolo sort of stuff, which is a bit of fun as well. Uh, a lot of Music Man enthusiasts are quite interested in this one, in that the bridge here actually has the rubber stoppers that you can raise uh, in order to get that nice thumb bass sound, uh, sort of a 1960s feature. So I've been told that's quite, uh, quite special there. Moving on. because I've only got about a minute left of uh, film on this thing. I've two more to go. So this one is my acoustic bass made by Fender, of which I decorated myself. Uh, this one I played most in my uh, videos in the past, just because my amplifiers were out of commission at the time. As you can see, it's got a shitload of basketball cards on it, including one of my little brother Andrew there. Don't know if you can see that, but there he is in the corner there. <laughs> last one, save the best one for last. Yeah. 
And this one's yet to make an appearance on YouTube. This is my 8-string bass. Made by ESP, it's an LTD. Give you a better look over here, I think. There we go. So at the moment it's not tuned, it's uh, got slack strings because I was overseas for about four months. Bloody beautiful looking instrument, this one. I just love that evil headstock on it. <laughs> yep, so usually I keep this one in drop D. Uh, the, st the strings are tuned, I'll get a good close up. So as you can see, they're paired like on a 12 string guitar, so it has that real nice rum sound when you play it. Predominantly I play it with a pick, but uh sounds fucking awesome when you slap it as well. Anywho, so I keep it in DD, AA, DD, GG usually for my original stuff that I write. Yep, beautiful instrument. Very, very happy with that one. So anywho, that's the, uh, the arsenal of my axes there. <laughs> And uh, I'll be looking forward to doing a few uh, more videos in the near future. So, uh, yeah, uh, to all of you out there that are my subscribers from the uh, past couple of years, thank you very much for watching. And, uh, yep, I'll be looking forward to doing a few new videos in uh, the near future. I'll be looking to do some more Red Hot Chili Peppers, a lot more Primus. Um, yeah, and a bit of Queen and uh, shit, just about anything I can think of, really. And yeah, I guess that'll do it for today. I'll see you soon. Bye.